day, everyone. Welcome to another episode of Quick Math Tutorials. Today, we are going to learn about the measures of position for grouped data. Before you watch this video, it is highly recommended that you watch my video first about constructing a frequency distribution table because that lesson is connected to what we are going to learn in this lesson. Here are the formula to be used in solving for the measures of position for grouped data. First, we have quartile. We have Q sub K is equal to LB plus K times N over 4 minus CF sub B over F sub Q sub K times I. For the decile, we have D sub K is equal to LB plus K times N over 10 minus CF sub B over F sub D sub K times I. And for our percentile, we have P sub K is equal to LB plus K times N over 100 minus CF sub B over f sub b sub k times i. As you can see, these three formula look the same except for the quartile. We have q here and q and our denominator here is 4 since this is 4 quartile. And for the decile, we have d, d and here this is 10. And for the percentile, we have p and p and here this is 100 where our LB is our lower boundary, N is the total frequency, CF sub B is our cumul cumulative frequency of the class before the Q sub K class or D sub K or P sub K. And F is our frequency, and I is the size of class interval. Now let's have our first example. We will solve for quartile. So we have calculate the lower quartile, the median, and the upper quartile of the mathematics test scores of 50 students. So we are only given here the data or the scores and then its corresponding frequency. So first for our solution, we will complete our frequency distribution table so we will just fill in our lb or our lower boundaries and r less than cf or less than cumulative frequency so for our lb we will just subtract 0.5 to the left side of our classes so 21 minus 0.5 we have 20.5 26 minus 0.5 we have 25.5 and we have 31 minus 0 0.5, 30.5. 36 minus 0 0.5 equals 35.5. 41 minus 0 0.5 equals 40.5. And 46 minus 0 0.5, we have 45.5. And also, don't forget, the total number of our frequency is equal to 50. Or our n is 50. Now, for our less than CF... Again, we will just copy the first frequency here. So we will have 6. Then we will add 6 and to the second frequency. So we have 6 plus 12 equals 18. 18 plus 9 equals 27. 27 plus 11, we have 38. 38 plus 8 equals 46. 46 plus 4, this is 50. And this is correct. It's because the last number of our less than CF and RN are the same. So this is correct. For Q sub 1, before we will use the formula that was shown earlier, let's have first these three steps. For our step 1, we will determine where will our Q sub 1 class belong to this table. 
for us to know what will be our frequency, our LB and our CF sub B. So we have Q sub 1 class. The formula is just K times N over 4. This is 4. It's because we will solve for quartile. The, now let's substitute the value of K and N. Our K is equal to 1. It's because we have Q sub 1. Thus, our K is 1. And our N is 50 since the total frequency is 50. So we have 1 times 50 is 50. And 50 divided by 4 is equal to 12.5. Now, we will look where 12.5 belongs to this less than CF. It does not belong to 6 because it is just until 6. However, 12 belongs to 18 because as you can see, this is 6. So here we have 7 to 18 and there is 12.5. So that will be our second step. Our Q sub 1 class belong to this second row. Now, let's determine what will be our LB. So this will be our third step. Our LB here is 25.5. Our N or the total frequency is 50. Here, our CF we have CF sub B, or the cumulative frequency of the class, before the Q sub 1. So here, our CF, which is supposed to be 18, but we have here before. So before 18, we have 6. So therefore, our CF sub B is 6 and not 18, because we have here the word before. Next. The frequency of our Q sub 1, so we have here the frequency, which is equal to 12. And our interval, or the class size, is 5. We get 5, it's because we can subtract 35 minus 30, we have 5. 30 minus 25, we have 5. 50 minus 45, we have 5. Therefore, our I is equal to 5. Now, for our step 4, we will now use the formula. So, these are our given. So, our Q sub 1 class, we have Kn over 4 is 12.5. Our LB is 25.5. Our N is 50. CF sub B is 6. Frequency is 12. And our I is 5. Now, using the formula, we will substitute the values. So we have Q sub 1 is equal to our LB is 25.5 plus our KN over 4. So we have here 12.5 minus our CF sub B, we have 6 over our frequency here is 12 and our I is 5. Next, 12.5 minus 6 is 6.5. 6.5 divided by 12 is 0 0.54. 0 0.54 times 5, we have 2.7. And 25.5 plus 2.7 is 28.2. So our Q sub 1 is equal to 28.2. Therefore, 25% of the students have a score less than or equal to 28.2. This is 25% since we solve for Q sub 1. Remember, our Q sub 1 is 25, Q sub 2 is 50, and Q sub 3 is 75. So this is 25%. And this is our final answer, which is 28.5. And this is always less than or equal to. So as you can see in the table, 28.2 is really in 26 to 30. So therefore, 25% of the students have a score less than or equal to 28.2. Now, for Q sub 2, 
for step one, we have Q sub 2 class. So Kn over 4 equals. So our K is 2. It's because we have Q sub 2. 2 times 50, we have 100. And 100 divided by 4, we have 25. Now for our step 2, we will look where 25 belongs to the less than CF. It does not belong to 6, also in 18. However, it belongs to 25. Because as you can see, since this is 18, so we have 19 to 27. And there is 25 in 19 to 27. So we have our Q sub 2 class belongs to this third row. Now for our third step. Our LB, so here our lower boundaries is 30.5, N is 50, our CF, then we have the word before. Supposed to be our CF is 27, but we will get before, so we have 18. So our CF sub B is 18, or before 27 we have 18. Next. The frequency of our Q sub 2, so here we have the frequency which is equal to 9. And again, our interval is equal to 5. Now, for our last step or step 4, we will substitute the values of our Q sub 2 class, our LB, our N, our CF sub B, our frequency, and our I. So, using the formula, we have Q sub 2 is equal to so our LB is 30.5 plus our KN over 4, we have 25, minus our CF sub B, we have 18, over the frequency is 9, times the I is 5. Then we have 25 minus 18 is 7. 7 divided by 9 is equal to 0 0.78. And 0 0.78 times 5 is equal to 3.9. And 30.5 plus 3.9 is 34.4. Thus, our Q sub 2 is equal to 34.4. Therefore, 50% of the students have a score less than or equal to 34.4. Again, this is 50%. It's because we solve for Q sub 2 which is also 50%. And this is our final answer, 34.4. So as you can see in the table, 34.4 really belongs to these scores. Now, let's have our Q sub 3 or our upper quartile. So for our step 1, we have Q sub 3 class. The formula is K times N over 4 which is equal to, our k here is equal to 3 since we have q sub 3. So 3 times 50 is equal to 150 over 4. 150 divided by 4 is equal to 37.5. Now, we will look where 37.5 belongs to the less than cf. It does not belong to 6. It also does not belong to 18, also to 27. However, it belongs to 38. So this will be our step 2. Thus, our Q sub 3 class belongs to the fourth row of our table. For our third step, the value of our lower boundary. So we have here our LB, which is... 35.5. Our N is equal to 50. Our CF sub B, so supposed to be our CF is 38, but before 38 we have 27. Then the frequency here is 11. And our I again is equal to 5. Now let's substitute the value of our Q sub 3 class, our LB, N, 
C F sub B, frequency, and I. So this will be our fourth step or our last step. Now, using the formula, we have Q sub 3 is equal to our LB is 35.5 plus our K and over 4 is 37.5 minus C F sub B is 27 over our frequency is 11 times our i is 5. 37.5 minus 27 is 10.5. 10.5 divided by 11 is equal to 0 0.95. And 0 0.95 times 5 equals 4.75. 35.5 plus 4.75 is equal to 40.25. Thus, our Q sub 3 is 40.25. Therefore, 75% of the students have a score less than or equal to 40.25. So again, this is 75% since we solve for Q sub 3. Now, let's have our example for decile. We will calculate the third decile and seventh decile of the mathematics achievement test scores of 80 students. So, we are only given the scores and its corresponding frequency. So, for our solution, we will fill in first our FDT or our frequency distribution table. So, we will solve for LB and R less than CF. So again, for our LB, we will just subtract 0.5 to the left side of our classes. So we have here 70 .5, 80.5, 90.5, 100.5, 110.5, 120.5, 130.5, 140.5, and 151 minus 0.5, we have 150.5. And the total of our frequency here is, if we will add 4 plus 9 plus 13 plus 11 plus 7 plus 10 plus 6 plus 12 plus 8, which is equal to 80. And for our less than CF, so again, we will just copy 4 here, or our first frequency. Then we will add to the second, so 4 plus 9, 13, 13 plus 13, 26. 26 plus 11, 37, 37 plus 7, 44, 44 plus 10, 54, 54 plus 6, 60, 60 plus 12, 72, and 72 plus 8, we have 80. And this is correct since our N, which is 80, and the last number of our less than CF is also 80. They are just the same. Thus, this is correct. Now, let's solve for D sub 3 or our third decile. So, again, we will have the three steps before using the formula for the decile. Step 1. We have D sub 3 class. The formula is K times N over 10. So, this time, this is 10. It's because we will solve for decile equals the value of k is 3 since we have d sub 3 and our n is 80 since the total of our frequency is 80. So we have 3, 3 times 80 is equal to 240 and 240 divided by 10 equals 24. Now for our step 2, we will look where 24 belongs to the less than CF. It does not belong to 4, also in 13. However, it belongs to 26. Because as you can see, since this is a 13, so we have 14 to 26. And there is 24 there from 14 to 26. Therefore, our D sub 3 class belongs to this third row. Now for our step 3, the value of our lower boundaries or our LB, we have 90.5. Rn, 
our total frequency is 80. Our CF sub B supposed to be our CF is 26. But before 26, we have 13. So our CF sub B is equal to 13. Our frequency or our F here is 13. Then our interval, so we will just subtract. 160 minus 150, 10. Or 90 minus 80 is 10. So our I is 10. And for our last step, we will have the substitution. So by using now the formula for the decile, we have D sub 3 is equal to our LB is 90.5 plus our kn over 10 is 24 minus our cf sub b is 13 over our frequency is 13 times our i is 10. 24 minus 13 is 11. 11 divided by 13 is equal to 0 0.85 and 0 0.85 times 10 equals 8.5. 90.5 plus 8.5 is equal to 99. Therefore, 30% of the students have a score less than or equal to 99. So this is a 30% because we solve for D sub 3. Remember, in decile, our D sub 1 is 10, D sub 2 is 20, D sub 3 is 30%. Thus, this is 30%. And going back to our table, 99 really belongs to these scores or class. Next, we have our D sub 7 or our 7th decile. Step 1. D sub 7 class, the formula is K times N over 10, which is equal to our K this time is 7 times 80 over 10. 7 times 80, which is equal to 560, and 560 divided by 10, which is equal to 56. And for our second step, we will look where 56 belongs to this less than CF. So it does not belong to 4, also in 13, in 26, in 37, in 44, in 54, However, it belongs to 60. Thus, our D sub 7 class belong to this row. So for our third step, our LB or lower boundaries is 130.5, N is 80, CF sub B. Supposed to be our CF is 60, but before 60, we have 54. Frequency is 6, and then the interval is 10, or 90 minus 80 is 10. For our last step, we will have the substitution. So, given the formula, we have D sub 7 equals our LB is 130.5 plus our KN over 10, which is 56, minus our CF sub B, we have 54 over our frequency is 6 times the interval 10. 56 minus 54 is 2. And 2 divided by 6 equals 0 0.33. And 0 0.33 times 10 equals 3.3. 130.5 plus 3.3, which is equal to... 133.8. Therefore, 70% of the students have a score less than or equal to 133.8. So again, this is 70% since we solve for D sub 7. And 133.8 really belongs to these classes. And for our last example, we will solve for the percentile. We will calculate the 40th and 85th percentile of the number of employees given the number of companies. 
So again, for our solution, we will complete our FDT. So for our LB, we will subtract 0 0.5 to the left side of our classes. And before that, the total of our frequency or 4 plus 8 plus 7 plus 9 plus 6 plus 11, which is equal to 45. And for our LB, 16 minus 0 0.5 equals 15.5. Next, we have 20.5, 25.5, 30.5, 35.5, 40.5, 30 and 40.5. And for our less than CF, copy the first frequency. Then to get the second, we will just add 4 to the second row. So we have 4 plus 8, 12, 12 plus 7. 19, 19 plus 9, 28, 28 plus 6, 34, and 34 plus 11, which is equal to 45. And our N and our last number of our less than CF are 45, so this is correct. Now, let's solve for P sub 40. So again, before using the formula, let's have the three steps. Step 1. We have V sub 40 class. So our formula this time is Kn over 100. This is 100 since we will solve for percentile. Equals Rk is equal to 40 since we will solve for P sub 40. Times Rn is 45 since the total of our frequency is 45 over 100. 40 times 45 equals 1,800. 1,800 divided by 100, which is equal to 18. Now, for our step 2, we will look where 18 belongs to less than CF. So, it does not belong to 4, also in 12, but it belongs to 19. Because here, since this is 12, we have 13 to 19, and there is 18 there. So we have our piece of 40 class belongs to the third row of our table. For our third step, our LB is 25.5 here. N is 45. CF sub B. So supposed to be our CF is 19. But before 19, we have 12. Our frequency is 7. And our i is 5. We get i by subtracting 25 minus 25. Or 30 minus 25, 5. 40 minus 35 is 5. Now, by substitution, we have the formula for the percentile. So, our p sub k, which is equal to p sub 40, equals our lb is 25.5. Plus our Kn over 100 is 18 minus our Cf sub B is 12 over our frequency is 7 times our I is 5. 18 minus 12 is 6 and 6 divided by 7 equals 0.86 and 0 0.86 times 5 equals 4.3. 25.5 plus 4.3 is equal to 29.8. Therefore, 40% of the companies have an employee less than or equal to 29.8. So this is 40% since we solve for P sub 40. As you can remember, for the percentile, our P sub 1 is 1%, P sub 2 is 2%, thus P sub 40 is 40%. So as you can see in the table, 29.8 really belongs to this classes and for last we have our p sub 85 so for our step one we have p sub 85 class we have k times n over 100 equals our k is 85 times 45 equals 3825 divided by 100 which is equal to 38.25 now we will look where 38.25 belongs to the less than CF. So, it belongs to 45. 
Thus, P sub 85 class belongs to the last row. So, for our third step, our LB is 40.5, N is 45, CF, so supposed to be our CF is 45, but before 45, we have 34. And our frequency is 11. Then our I is 5. Now, by substitution, using the formula for the percentile, we have P sub 85 is equal to our LB is 40.5. Plus our KN over 100 is a 38.25 minus our CFB is a 34 over our frequency is 11 times our I is 5. 38.25 minus a 34 is 4.25. 4.25 divided by 11 equals 0 0.39. 0 0.39 times 5 is 1.95. And 40.5 plus 1.95 is equal to 42.45. Therefore, 85% of the companies have an employee less than or equal to 42.45. This is 85% since we solved for 4P sub 85. And going back to our table, 42.45 really belongs to these classes. So to sum it up, here are the formula to get the quartile, the decile, and the percentile. So again, before using this formula, you must use first the three steps. And that ends our quick math tutorial. If you like the video, please click on the like button. If you have questions, just leave a comment below. And to be notified on my next videos, please click on the subscribe button. Thank you. Bye. Tell me that you love me, even if it's fake